वेलकम टू आई एस एल अनेबल्ड वर्चुअल लैब ऑफ सी एस आई आर हाई एवरी वन आई मुस्का आई एम जिज्ञासा एंड यू आर लिस्निंग टू इंडिया आस्क वाई साइंस पॉडकास्ट सपोर्टेड बाई इंडिया बायो साइंस वेर वी डू द रिसर्च for you to get smarter join us as india becomes more curious one question at a time. time utsuka and jigyasa love eating chocolates i mean who doesn't and they also love asking questions this time they wondered why we all crave chocolates so much they also talk with dr nandini chatterjee singh a physicist turned brain researcher who talks more about what makes chocolate eating an experience and also shares about her career transition mm this chocolate is so tasty i could eat it all day <laughs> you've got chocolate all over your face and hands jigasa you just love chocolates don't you oh absolutely i do it's such a heavenly experience but jigasa have you ever wondered why we like chocolates so much chocolate researchers to your rescue utsuka the scientific community has also been curious about your question <laughs> really chocolate researchers <laughs> not chocolate researchers i meant neuroscience researchers you see eating a chocolate is an experience in itself so neuroscientists study the effects different experiences like eating chocolate have on our brain wait eating chocolate is an experience yes eating chocolate is very much an experience i'll tell you close your eyes and just listen to me Imagine I hand over a big bar of chocolate to you. The wrapper is shiny and you look at the chocolate and you already have a smile on your face. You unwrap and the smell of the chocolate comes in. The chocolate is starting to melt on your fingers. You take a bite and you feel the smooth texture of chocolate on your tongue as it slowly melts away. Oh my gosh, yes. There is fragrance texture taste and oh all those good memories of eating chocolates exactly now you see there are multiple aspects to eating chocolate and that's why neuroscientists find out how the brain deals with all of these together have they figured that out yes yes they have so let's zoom into the brain a little bit there is a region in the brain called the orbitofrontal cortex just behind the forehead and above your eye sockets this orbitofrontal cortex takes what is happening inside let's say tummy says it feels hungry and connects it to what is happening outside your body so let's say i saying it sees chocolate so when you connect it it becomes i am hungry and i see chocolates so i want to eat it whoa that's so cool exactly it also decides if a task you did is worth rewarding or punishing if you remember our discussion about why we find babies cute we get rewarded with that cute fuzzy feeling and we feel good when we take care of babies right so the orbitofrontal cortex is rewarding the chocolate eating experience but why jigasa why yes it is now coming to your question why do we find chocolate so tasty or why do we like chocolate so much let's go to the basics chocolate is actually a mixture of cocoa powder cocoa butter milk solids and loads of sugar hmm seems like chocolate has a lot of ingredients that make eating chocolate an experience exactly so let's go one by one with the effect of each ingredient individually starting with cocoa cocoa is what gives chocolate its mm, chocolatey flavor trivia chocolate is derived from a traditional preparation of cocoa water originally cocoa beans were simply boiled in water 
And that's what people used to drink. And that's where we get chocolate from. Let me guess. It is this flavor that we enjoy and like about chocolate, right? Mm, well, yes and no. The cocoa that is used to make chocolate is usually very bitter. The chocolate that we eat nowadays and enjoy so much has a large amount of milk powder and sugar to get rid of that bitterness. Ah, yes, those dark chocolate bars. They are always bitter. Exactly. Dark chocolate has more cocoa content. And that's why you find it bitter. This is where the other ingredients come in. It's the addition of the milk powder and the sugar that makes chocolate so delicious. But I don't like milk with sugar, Chikyasa. Yeah, you may not find milk with sugar delicious, but your brain totally loves it. What I mean to say is that our human body is programmed to look out for foods which have loads of calories or energy. Is this why it's more difficult to say no to chocolate when I'm hungry? Yes. And in fact, when neuroscientists tested out what we feel when we eat more calories versus how it feels when we eat less calories. Foods with high calories and fats tend to make us feel better than foods with fewer calories or fat, especially when we are hungry. Hmm, interesting. But how can chocolate make us feel good if it's made with that bitter cocoa? So we talked about the addition of high calorie milk and sugars to cocoa to get rid of the bitter taste, right? Right. And we talked about the orbitofrontal cortex that connects the information in our brain, right? Right. So let's put all of this together. The enjoyable experience of chocolate comes from the milk, the cocoa butter and the sugar. And the smooth texture of the chocolate in our mouth to some extent. Now, the orbitofrontal cortex registers all of this, the high calories and the energy and the smooth texture and the sweetness, all of it together as a positive stimulus. The orbitofrontal cortex says it's a good thing for your body and gives you a reward. So you end up feeling pleasant after eating chocolate. Let me get this straight. Food with high calorie and high fat is great for brains to energize. And chocolate gives us all that instantly. So the orbitofrontal cortex tells me, yay, you did a good thing. Exactly, you got it perfectly right. Eating chocolate is indeed an experience. Uh, we've talked about chocolate so much today. It makes me crave for more now. <laughs> and you know, Utsuka, if you eat a chocolate now, the neurons in your orbitofrontal cortex will start firing rapidly and they will reward you for fulfilling your craving. And in turn, it will make you appreciate chocolate even more. <laughs> this feels like an infinite loop of rewarding and craving. So yeah, let's go get some chocolate. Although I'm curious to know if neuroscientists really, really study people's brain while they eat chocolate. 